So you just got off what tour? Um, I did a couple of them, I guess. Um, the most recent one, I, I was on the road. I did a few dates with Run the Jewels. It's Killer Mike and LP. Shout out to them boys. They on a serious, 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 serious movement right now. They got a real strong campaign over there at Mass Appeal Records. So shout out to Nas and everybody over there. I'm on a song called Love Again. It's produced by LP. It's kind of like, I don't know, my breakthrough verse. I'm seeing a lot of different people that never knew who I was before and now they know who I am now and it feels good, dude, to have like new fans. Somebody said they wanted to be my verse for Halloween and I thought that was amazing. Um, so yeah, I was just in New York and LA and uh, the Mafia Six, I was touring with them. I did like 33 straight dates with them, and that was fun. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the touring I've been doing as far as a little spot dating here and there, my own gigs. Been doing, pulling off them features real strong. What about, if, uh, what about that Nas record? I know, right? I don't know, I, I remember um, Nas told me that Khalees Love me. That was when they were married. He was like, Khalees love you so much. And I was like, yeah, but what about you, though? <laughs> so, yeah, dude, I'm just, I don't ask nobody um, to put me on anything. I just do me and it comes. So if it happens, I would totally be honored. What's the, um, with all this touring you've been doing lately, what's the, the thing you hate the most about touring? Being around boys all the time. I need my girl space. Um... And, uh, you know, you, you got to be on the go. You got to wake up. You know, you got to be ready. You got to do meet and greets. You got to eat crazy. Your legs burn. You got to soak in Epsom salt. You got to do all kind of stuff. You got to be healthy. And, you know, those are the parts that people don't see behind the scenes that make uh, a real artist and a world traveler unique. Was did, When Lord Infamous passed away, was that before you guys went on tour, or was that during the tour? Oh, uh, no, he died before the tour. He died December 21st, 2014. And we went on tour, I think February, we went out. Yeah, so yeah, that was crazy too. So, But we brought him along, we had his casket on the road. Um, and his spirit and his energy is definitely, it was still around. A few things happened on the road where I was like, oh shit, he's here. Um, one was Paul sampled um, uh, a song by this rock band called The Verve, Bitter Sweet Symphony, um, and he made a Lord Infamous song called Triple Six Clubhouse. And I don't know what I was doing, but I was saying something. I was saying something about Ricky, that's Lord name. I was saying something about him. And I had my Pandora on, and next thing I know, the Bitter Sweet Symphony song came on. I was like, you motherfucker. So yeah, it was, you know, his energy still there, man. Long live the Lord. So you really had his casket on the tour with you guys? Yeah. So how did that work? Because I, I didn't get a chance to go to the tour. So was it laid somewhere or just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, you know, we just, we, we kept it with us and we bring it out um, during, well, uh, we'll bring it out and during, well, you know, kneel and, and praise, praise Lord. And um, where's the bud? Come on and... There it is. But the crowd went nuts. Yeah, they did. They put their lighters up and, and, and they pay homage. I mean, people miss him. Lil Wayne um, said RIP to Lord Infamous a couple of days ago um, after him and I think Juicy might have brought him out or something to perform when he was just in L.A. performing at, um, for the 30 days of L.A. and Red, for the Red Bull 30 days in L.A. And I was like, oh, shit, Wayne was like, he, you know, paying, paying homage to the gods. So, yeah. People love Lord Infamous and the fans definitely enjoyed the fact that we brought them along. So where's the casket now? It's with Paul. It's with him, you know. That was his brother. So they together someday, I'm with.